Now, from a communication perspective, the C in PACS, the C in that enterprise imaging platform, you know, how can we optimize the workflows? You know, again, talking about translating and transforming workflows. You know, can I have different schedules? Maybe I have a remote site that doesn't have a radiologist on staff after midnight. Can I route it to a different place? Can I auto-generate HL7 orders? Can I fix patient IDs and so forth? Are there ways to do compression and encryption? You know, does that workflow engine process at a study, series, or image level? You know, I think that's one unique thing for ourselves is, is processing at an image level and therefore enable you to, to have real data intelligence as the data is coming in and figure out exactly where each image needs to go. But it's also about, you know, that that enterprise imaging platform also needs to have those similar kind of workflows around non-DICOM. So whether it be HL7, I've talked quite a bit about patient updates and merges. Maybe it's HL7 triggering prefetch workflows. Maybe it's XDS or, or modality work list. And you know, it's interesting, modality work list, I'm sure most of you already have a DICOM modality work list solution, but what about non-DICOM sources? Do you have a solution for brokering patients and visits so that dermatology and, and wound care can see a pick list similar to what you see in radiology? 